Guys, let us look at prudent diet. This prudent diet was given by whom? By WHO, the expert committees of WHO. Basically, prudent means well judged, <coughs> wise kind of a thing, right? So, they are saying reduce salt intake, okay? And avoid taking high alcohol. Okay, fine. Looks possible. Okay, then let's come to the technicalities of it, okay? See if you can achieve all these now. Dietary fat should be limited to approximately 15 to 30% of the total daily intake. So, uh, fat should be less. Okay, limited to. So, it should be less. Fat should be limited to 15 to 30% of your total dietary intake. So, it should be less. Saturated fat should contribute no more than 10% of the total energy intake. So, saturated fat also should be less. Okay, then. So, 10% less than that should be saturated. Remaining can be unsaturated vegetable oils. Of this 30% in your complete food, 30% will be fat. In that 30%, 10% only should be saturated fat. The remaining 90% of that 30% will be unsaturated vegetable oils. You understood? Or it just became too much? So, you have here 30% you can take fat. In that 10% can be saturated fat. Remaining have to be vegetable oil, unsaturated. Got it? Very good. Excessive consumption of refined carbohydrate should be avoided. Some of the carbohydrate rich in fiber should be taken. So, take carbohydrate which is rich in natural fiber that they like. Okay. Refined carbohydrates don't take. What is that refined carbohydrate? They are saying whatever is white, right? White flour, white bread, white rice, sodas, snacks, pastries, pastries, sodas, snacks. All these will be refined carbohydrate. What is it? Natural uh, carbohydrate, rich in fi natural fiber. Maybe it's all these fruits, vegetables, etc. Okay, rich source in energy such as alcohol should be restricted. Salt intake should be reduced to an average of not more than 5 gram per day. This you know, no dash regimen also it's there. Salt intake also should be less, less than how much? 5 gram per day. Okay, all these specific things you have to write. Prudent diet means... It's not just saying eat less salt and uh, less alcohol. Salt how much? Less than 5 gram per day. Okay. In India, we take 15 gram per day it seems. <clears throat> Probably I take more than that. Okay. Protein should account for approximately 10 to 15 percent of the daily intake. 10 to 15 percent protein. So, did you get it? Whatever you are eating, 30 percent, 15 to 30 percent only, maximum 30 percent you can eat fat. 10 to 15 percent should be protein. Remaining can be carbohydrates look like. Okay, in that also you should have fiber rich natural carbohydrates. Fats, 10 percent should be saturated fat. Remaining should be unsaturated. Protein, did they say anything? No. Junk foods you should not eat. That and all you will write. Not difficult to write. So, did you get prudent diet now? Now, is it completely clear? You cannot just writes uh, some things. You have to write specifically what they are saying. Lastly, they are saying that for there will be special needs for growth, pregnancy, lactation, physical activity and medical disorders. There will be separate special needs. You will have to address that. It is not that one for everything, right? So, we are done with prudent diet by expert committees of WHO. What are they saying here? You should have reduced salt intake and avoid alcohol, okay? Alcohol also you should avoid, okay? This is suggested by whom? WHO, expert committee. Uh, prudent means well judged. Basically, fat should be less than 15 uh, to 30 percent. Saturated fats should be uh, le uh, less than 10 percent of the total energy intake. If I am not wrong, this is the fat intake. In that fat intake, uh, 10 percent should be saturated, right? Guys, if uh, uh, just check that once, okay? Then um, <clears throat> you should take carbohydrate, which is in the rich in natural fiber. Alcohol, you should restrict. Salt intake less than 5 gram per day. Protein should be around 10 to 15 percent of your daily intake. Junk foods you should avoid. Okay. Special needs are there for growth, lactation, pregnancy, physical activity, medical disorders, etc. So, this is about prudent diet. Okay. So, in prevention of coronary heart disease, in uh, population, stra population strategy, prevention in whole population, they are suggesting this prudent diet. Okay. This is where it comes under, but you can prevent a lot of other things also. Just remember people, HDL, that is high density lipoprotein should be more. It should become more than 40. Low density lipoprotein should be less. Okay. You should bring down your LDL. You should increase your HDL. And your cholesterol also you should bring down. Serum cholesterol you should bring down. 
so cholesterol divided by hdl hdl should be more right so that time this fraction will become less so it should be less than 3.5 okay see cholesterol should be less hdl should be more so what will happen this ratio actually has to be less less than 3.5 they are saying so remember hdl more ldl less cholesterol less cholesterol divided by hdl less than 3.5 some targets they are there so you you we are done with prudent diet 